here, the cyclotron is here, and soon it's going to be raised down into the bunker where it's going to live for 30 years, making medical isotopes for our hospital. I'm here with Dr. Mike Campbell. He's kind of in charge of the whole cyclotron project. Today we've got the cyclotron actually arriving here in Thunder Bay. Yeah, it's going to be put into the vault in probably about half an hour to an hour. This is something we've been working on for about seven years now, so it's a huge step for us. And I'm I'm really excited to be involved in a project that's had so many people have worked really hard to get us to this point. It should be in there for a good 30 years producing uh, isotopes for the people of Thunder Bay so that they can get the treatments they need faster. And I'm really proud to be the person who gets to talk to you about this because you know none of this would have been able to be possible without the support of our, uh, all our government funding from Bednorium to NOHFC and the city and particularly the from the Hospital for the Health Sciences Foundation and the Exceptional Cancer Care Campaign. It's, that's been critical to the success.